people love beef. It's delicious. But did you also know a three ounce serving of lean beef provides your body with a high quality source for 10 essential nutrients? Beef fuels your body, but how does all this goodness get to your plate in the first place? It all starts with farmers, and in Ohio, there are nearly 17,000 of them working to provide safe and nutritious beef from their family's farm directly to your family's kitchen. Just like you, these cattlemen put their families first, and they count on their farms to feed their family. So when it comes to their animals, only the best will do. Life on the farm starts with calving season, and that means round-the-clock care for the mothers and their babies. When it's time for babies to be born, farmers check on their animals constantly to ensure that every calf arrives safely and gets a great start to a healthy life. A newborn is called a calf. They can weigh between 60 and 100 pounds. The males are called bulls and the females are called heifers. When a heifer grows up, is bred, and has her first calf, then she'll be called a cow. They usually have their first calf when they are two years old. After this, she'll have one calf every year. Calves spend the first six to eight months of their lives grazing pastures alongside their mothers. Cattle thrive in an open environment and forages, like grass and hay, are the primary feed for cattle on a cow and calf farm. Because forages grow well in many environments where other crops can't, cattle are able to utilize ground that is unsuitable for other types of farming. When the weather gets tough, cattlemen care for their animals by providing windbreaks or shelters and bringing feed directly to the cattle. Cattlemen also ensure their cattle have fresh water available to drink at all times. When calves are weaned from their mothers, they typically weigh 500 to 700 pounds. Weaned calves will continue to live on grass pastures where they grow and gain weight for the next several months. Some animals will be selected to return to the breeding operation, but many of the bulls are castrated to ensure the safety of the other animals, as well as the farmers. A castrated male is called a steer. All of the steers and some of the heifers will enter the beef supply chain. Some of the cattle will continue on grass, which will result in grass-finished beef, while others will be transported to a feed yard where they will eat a scientifically balanced diet consisting of grain and preserved forages. Beef from these animals might be referred to as conventional or grain-finished beef. Farmers are often asked if there are differences between grass-finished and grain-finished beef. Scientists can't say that one type of beef is healthier for us to eat than another. All choices of beef have the same basic nutritional profile and originate from cattle that have spent the majority of their lives grazing grass on open pastures. If cattle do leave the pastures, they head to the feed yard. Cattle will spend about four to six months in the feed yard. Feed yard pens are designed to ensure cattle have space to rest and exercise. While in the feed yard, cattle receive daily care in accordance with an industry-wide program called Beef Quality Assurance, or BQA. BQA guides cattlemen through the proper care and management of cattle, ensuring consumers can have confidence that the beef they are purchasing is high quality and that the animals have been well cared for. BQA programs also provide farmers with best practices for record keeping and protecting herd health. The health and well being of the cattle is critically important to the success of a family farm, but there are a few important health topics that raise some understandable questions from consumers. The first is the use of antibiotics in cattle. Just like humans, animals can get sick at any point in their life. When this happens, antibiotics may be used for the treatment or occasionally for the prevention of illness. All antibiotics are approved by the Food and Drug Administration and farmers adhere to strict oversight of their use, often under the discretion of their veterinarian. Because every animal is individually identified with an ear tag at birth, it's easy for farmers to keep detailed records of every single animal receiving treatment. No animal receiving treatment may ever go on to harvest without first adhering to federally regulated withdrawal times to ensure the antibiotics are out of their system. Because of this, all beef is antibiotic free. The second concern some consumers hold is the use of hormones in beef cattle. In the feed yard, some cattle may receive a hormone implant. An implant supplements, in very small amounts, the naturally occurring hormones of the body 
increasing both the growth and production efficiency of the animal. The benefit is not only leaner beef for the consumer, but also farmers are able to produce more food using less environmental resources. While the benefits of using hormones and antibiotics are abundant, and their safety has been well documented by researchers, bee farmers continue to increase the range of their production practices, giving you, the consumer, greater choice in beef products. Products such as grass-finished, grain-finished, organic, and natural beef are all great options created by farmers who choose to use differing production methods to fit consumer demand. No matter what choice you make to fit your taste and expectations, you can be sure all beef has been through a rigorous food safety inspection at the harvesting facility. When cattle are harvested, they will weigh between 1,100 and 1,500 pounds and be about 18 months old. Cattlemen, feedlot operators, harvesters, and other industry experts continually work hand-in-hand -hand with retailers and consumers to ensure the safety of our food supply. Every harvest facility must be government inspected, maintaining the highest food safety standards. Once beef is inspected, cut, and packaged, it's shipped to retailers and restaurants, where we can make our selections and enjoy the experience of delicious, nutritious beef. This look around the farm is brought to you by Ohio's Beef Farmers and the Ohio Beef Checkoff.